Hello and welcome back to the Hungry Expat Kitchen. Today we are going to make fava beans. I hope you like beans as much as I do. And let's start with the ingredients. So usually I bring fava beans or I buy fava beans dry and I soak them overnight in water only and then I drain them and I freeze them and whenever I need to make the beans and I do this to all of the other beans as well whenever I need to cook beans then I just take them out of the freezer and I don't even let them thaw or anything I put them straight away to cook and this saves you so much time so for the fava beans I'm going to add a little bit of uh, flour and some tomato paste and some orange lentils or yellow lentils I don't know what do you call them and a little bit of butter on the stove I have some water boiling it's very important to start with some water that is quite hot very close to boiling as well and then I add the fava beans the soaked ones and I will add also the rest of the ingredients the lentils and the butter the butter is very important it makes it very creamy and then I add a little bit of water to the mixture of the flour and the tomato paste and then I added them to the fava beans now I'm using a pressure cooker very old style of a pressure cooker <laughs> and then I'll just cover it and once the pressure like starts building up I will just lower the heat a little bit and let the fava beans cook for around 45 to 45 minutes to an hour depends on how you want them you can see my pressure cooker very old style of pressure cooker but I love it and then now it's finished I will let the pressure release naturally before I open the pressure cooker so it will not get exploded on and this is how the fava beans look like I will smash them a little bit with the ladle so it's just to thicken the water and then I'll add a little bit of lime juice or lemon juice whatever you have available just like half a lemon or half a lime now this is finished now we're going to actually make our fava beans ready for breakfast we have half an onion diced and a little bit of green peppers any type of green peppers you have as well have a tomato and now here is a secret mixture this is uh, some um, coriander green coriander and a little bit of green chilies and some garlic and I just use the mortar and pestle to make them into a paste but you can use whatever available like a food processor or anything else or chopping now we add a little bit of olive oil to our pan and we add the onions and the green peppers and we just mix them a little bit and once they start wilting or the, especially the onions start like just like change color a little bit oh and before that we have to add some salt very important okay and as i said once the onions turn translucent then we will add the tomato I don't want the onion to change color I was wrong not change color translucent okay now we add the tomatoes mix 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 and now it's time to add some um, coriander this is dried coriander and cumin and paprika also this is what is gonna make everything taste really good now we mix everything together and then we cover them for a little bit so just the tomatoes give the tomatoes some time to break down a little bit like that around five minutes or so and then we add our beautiful and creamy and delicious fava beans okay i'm adding around two and a half ladles to this mixture that i have here that i think would make around one cup or something and then i'll just let it cook for about five minutes before maybe four minutes less than five minutes before i add that secret mixture of 
fresh coriander and garlic and chilies now we add more salt i usually salt at every step so now we add a little bit of pepper and obviously salt and pepper like seasonings are just according to what you like now after i turned off the stove completely i add another half a lime juice and on top we will add a little bit of cumin ground cumin a little bit of uh, okay that is very important this is sesame seed oil it adds an amazing taste and it just it just goes very well with the fava beans i would say this is what i have been growing up eating and here we have our fava beans i hope you really like it and enjoy it and see you guys next time